morning y'all and welcome back to the vlog. Today is a Saturday, April the 3rd. It's Easter weekend and um, we're just gonna have a lot of fun this weekend. I've got all of what Josh laid out last night. He laid out all the things that we're gonna need. Most of the things we're gonna need today to, um, we're gonna cook a ham, we're gonna do a homemade mac and cheese in the crock pot, green beans, rolls, potatoes on the grill. We're just gonna have a big dinner today. Um, and then later today, the girls are gonna dye Easter eggs. And then tomorrow after church, we'll have the Easter eggs for them to go and find them and all that fun stuff. Unfortunately though, Allie is not feeling good today. She's sick, so hopefully she'll start feeling, I'm not sure, she may have a stomach bug. I don't know yet, we'll have to see, but she's not feeling good. So she's on the couch, but um, also another thing is Callie's Easter gift didn't come in time. And we'd like to give the girls their Easter baskets on Saturdays. That way Sundays are not so hectic with Easter baskets in the morning and get to church. We give, it to, we give it to them um, on Saturday. So her gift is in here. So what I'm gonna have to do, and they mailed it like the 26th of March. So I'm thinking it may be lost in the mail. I hope not, I hope it eventually comes, but it sounds that way. So I'm gonna be leaving here soon to go pick out her another Easter gift, because I don't want her to be the only one that doesn't have anything in her basket, of course. So um, here in a little while, I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna go and grab her something for Easter so they can open their baskets in a little while. They wanted to open it like first thing this, today, but um, it's not coming again today, so. All right, y'all, so I am headed out now to get Kylie's Easter gift. I just pulled out of our driveway. Um, but I'm actually having to drive Josh's truck. So I am in his truck all by myself. Um, the girls are home with Josh. I'm having to drive his truck, y'all, because for the first time ever that I've owned a car, a mouse has went somewhere in my car and died. And it stinks so bad, y'all. I went to get in my van this morning. Oh, I can't even explain the smell. So yeah, it was like unbearable. I was like, I'm driving your truck. To my birthday. No, Everly, you're just over here. Uh, at your place at the table. Bethany's in here playing with her chef Barbie and some kids are outside playing with sidewalk chalk. I'm gonna go get my play Everly's play. down for her nap right now. Yeah. Allie still isn't feeling well so she's laying over here on the recliner enjoying her stuff in her Easter basket. She's been eating on her gummies and she's enjoying her aloe socks. When I went into Ulta earlier I found some really cute aloe socks on the show. How cute is that? It looks like little Easter eggs. So she got a pair and Kylie got a pair in their baskets but are you feeling any better? A little bit. Just a little. Josh had to run to the store to get salt, butter, and Cascade because we're all out of that for the dishwasher. I have got some water going over here. I'm about to um, put these elbow noodles in. I'm doing crock pot, crock pot, crock pot, crock pot mac and cheese, and then I'm going to bake a cake. The ham's in the oven. Um, we'll put the green beans on here in a few minutes. And yeah, we're just getting stuff going. It is. Let's see what time it is. It's 1.50, so everything should be done around five o'clock today. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all how I do my crock pot mac and cheese. Um, it's super, super easy. First, I'm just gonna put a crock pot bag in here. It makes less mess when everything's done because mac and cheese does like to stick to the sides some. So I've got a bag in there. I'm gonna spray the bag anyway. Okay, so you're gonna take your noodles and you're gonna boil them on the stove top for 
just a few minutes. You want to get them um, to where they're a little bit soft, but not completely done. So that's what I've done there. Go ahead and stick those in the crock pot. Next is a whole eight ounce pack of cream cheese, and I've just broke this into half so I can put one on that side and one on the other side. All right, next you want one fourth um, of butter. So I've just cut this in little pieces so I can just kind of throw it all around in there. And then a whole can, a whole 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. And then we're going to go in with three cups of regular whole milk. Two and three. The last is just some shredded cheese and it says three cups. Sometimes I go a little bit more than three cups just because um, we like our mac and cheese cheesy. And I have done this recipe before with the Velveeta block of cheese and it tastes just as good either way. All right, and now I'm going to put this on low, and you're going to cook it for about two to three hours, and you definitely need to stir it, um, I would say every 45 minutes to an hour, just so it doesn't get clumpy and stick together. So yeah, it's super easy, and by three hours, it's done, and it's really good. It's Josh and the girl's favorite um, when I cook it, so yeah, really easy. Okay, so I'm walking outside for a minute. Josh is out here working on the garden spot for a few minutes while all the food's cooking. So we decided not to go with like a huge garden this year, just time wise, we don't have a whole lot of time. Yeah, like this year, we just don't have like time to do a big garden, um, pulling weeds and all of that good stuff. Uh, we're gonna have a newborn this summer. Josh is really busy with like work and ministry and stuff. So yeah, there's not a lot of time for a big garden. So we're just gonna do some raised garden beds out here. So over here is where he has been working. This was our garden spot last year as well. It was really big. Mommy. But now it's gonna be a little smaller this year. Mama hmm? and Mama, I planted my own grass, my own garden. You planted your own garden? Yeah. That's good. And I put um seeds in it. You put seeds in it. Uh -huh. This year it's just gonna be a little bit smaller with just the raised garden beds, which is good. We'll still have some good stuff, and we have a neighbor that always gives us tomatoes every summer. Anyway, really good tomatoes. Why do you um talk to the camera? <laughs> she wants to know why I talk to the camera. Why do I talk to the camera? That's how I talk to my friends on YouTube. I talk to them through the camera and they talk to me through the comments. Oh. <laughs> Mama. Again, y'all, it is now the next day. It's now Sunday. It's Easter morning. We are headed to church. I'm so thankful to be able to go to church and to celebrate our risen Savior today. Um, we're all ready. We're all getting in the van. Josh had to leave a little bit early, of course, but the girls and I are getting ready to leave. We're actually a little bit early, so we have like 10, 15 minutes to spare. Amy's in here with me. She's got on her um, pretty little Easter dress. I'm going to have stuff on my back so I won't see it. 
She's wanting to take a blanket in the car with her because the seats are cold. And I'm packing an extra passy. Good job. Pack an extra passy. And I am 23 weeks today, y'all. 23 week belly. It, I feel like it is like absolutely huge. I feel like I'm nine months pregnant. I don't feel that way yet, but I look that way. I should say that. But I guess that's what happens when you are expecting your ninth baby. And it, I put in a very small pickup order for right after church because I sent Josh out to the garage this morning to get another gallon of milk and there was none. So we gotta go pick up milk. That's like a main staple in this house. Uh, so I put a little order in just for milk and cereal, bagels, bananas, like our staples around here that we're out of. So on the way home from church, we're just gonna swing by Walmart, pick that up, come home, eat dinner, um, hide Easter eggs for the girls, let them go outside and hunt them and have fun. It's turned out to be a beautiful day. It's super sunny outside. I'll oh, see so yeah, that's what we're gonna do, but we're gonna head to church first. The girls actually are doing a stick drama this morning at church, so I'm gonna try to video that for y'all. I won't be able to get the music in the background because of copyright, but I will link the YouTube video down below of the one we went by and the music and all of that. They're so they're excited about their drama this morning. So yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. Thank you.